Phil, mm. tell us more. Well, I've always done it. Mm. I've always played around with flavours, and I love sweet and sour, I love all those things. And I'm going to run to that past you now. Before we do that, we're going to do two dishes. We're going to do a savoury version and a sweet one. Here's the sweet one. So there... That's a... And, and there's a What's savoury one in that? front. Yes, there's a savoury one in front, you see. So one of the ice cream will come on to a bit later. Right, now, combinations. I love sweet and sour. I love spice and sour. I love really uh, astringent things like Marmite or Bovril or those sort of things with bacon. I like I Marmalade like on bacon. I like that. Mm. Anyway, I like banana and bacon. Bovril and bacon on toast are amazing. Exactly. Bovril and bacon. All right, okay. I had some had bovril a... and banana then. Did you say that? Banana. I like banana and bacon. Ooh. That's a good combination. And also, um, beef dripping and Oxo cube on top, apparently. <laughs> Not mine. But it does. I can understand Sounds why healthy. it works. But grilled. OK. Anyway, so here, here's a combination. So here I've got a toasted um, hot cross bun and I've got peanut butter. Right. OK. Oh, my God, I'm it's not like a, a peanut morning with Heston Blumenthal, this, isn't it? No, but you've got to get the flavour. My bacon. Your bacon. My what bacon. you've made from your pigs. Yep. My bacon, that goes on there. Now, that's quite nice. We, we've reduced our salt in ours, so we part cure, so there's not so much salt. Then I add a little spread of, of marmalade. You've gone bonkers. No, no, honestly, trust me. Uh, not a lot. This is what it's, it's all about. It's about very small Peanut amounts. butter, bacon and marmalade. Hang on. You pervert. Gets better. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about that. <laughs> what is that you're putting on there This now? is a potato galette. So all it is, is potato. I'll show you how to do it in a second. It's just potatoes so this is just chopped. a light snack then, this yes. one, isn't it? That goes on there. Yeah. Lemon will peanut else butter, but not a there? lot. I'm Maybe not... a bit of vanished. <laughs> <laughs> on it goes. <laughs> I'll cut it in half. That's so weird. Are you sure you're not pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> if I was, I wouldn't be cooking. I could do it. Go, um, oh, can we eat this now? Yeah, you can eat that. Are you going to go for it? Now, just... But you're I just have kids. to go for it. It's so weird. You've but got to mind, try it, right? It's, it's about layers of flavour and texture. It's not... And crunch and taste. I don't even know what I'm eating. <laughs> I can just taste peanut butter. Really strong. Mm. Crunch. And I like it, I like it in a texture. weird sort of a way. Right. I like it. Every so often, a and now I'm a getting a yes. different layer. Hit, yes. of, um, hit of orange in there. It's just you know, it's not as bad buds. as I thought it was going to be. It doesn't taste as weird. No, but if you were blindfolded, it strangely works. Mm. But if you were blindfolded and I said, taste this, you'd get those layers of things. Yeah. Like Chili is always the same. Chili and pepper always come at the end of anything. Strangely, yep. but quite more enjoyable than I right. thought. I'm going to show you quickly it. about the potato you? galette. Because I'm starving. If you want to make a potato galette. Mm. Okay, which is basically just a fried potato. Here I've got potato. The secret is to cut it in nice small matchsticks mm. and don't wash it. Don't wash the starch off. So when you put it into the pan, like here we've got here, you just layer them around and the starch will thicken them as it, as it warms through. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. So you just layer that out. Could you, you make them in the oven so they're not so fatty? You can, but bear in mind, look, it all comes out. If you take them out, you fry them, drain them, all the fat comes out anyway. Oh, does it? Yes, it does. But the point being is that you've got to leave it now. Mm. Once the starch settles, uh, thickens as it comes up, yeah. turn it over and get a galette. Now. OK. Now I know you don't like <laughs> bread and butter pudding. This is a twist on that. I don't mind a bread and butter pudding. Thanks, Holly. Thanks, Holly. All right. So, here I've got a hot cross bun cut in yeah. half, like so. In here, um, I've got milk. Now, I've never really put cream in um, uh, bread and butter pudding. I think it's too rich. And I don't use whole eggs, either. I use egg yolks. So you get a very, very light custard. So, to make the custard, I've got um, milk. Uh, lemon goes into there. Mm. And once that's just infused for a couple of minutes, you whisk in normal dark chocolate. 70%, 80%, oh. 90%, whatever you want. Not milk chocolate. And, as you say, turn the heat off and that will make your chocolate custard straight away. That bacon's so good, by the way. Now, in here, bacon. I've got egg yolks and only 70 grams of sugar. Not a lot mm. is needed. And you don't need a machine. You just need to whisk this until it just starts to break up like so. Not much more than that, really. Pinch of nutmeg. And then pour half the chocolate custard on. We're just putting some deals on your screen so whisk. you can buy some of this in the supermarket. Whisk, 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 whisk. That stops the egg yolks cooking completely. And the rest of it, and you'll see... Pretty much, that, that thicken straight away. It's like a chocolate custard. Chocolate custard. Now, leave that to rest for a second. To add a little bit more to this, I use a little bit of chocolate spread. Again, not a lot. I'm not doing huge amounts here. We're just doing a little bit of chocolate spread on the top and on the bottom. <laughs> that looks like quite a lot to me. No, it's not. No, it's not, look. It is. No, it's not. You're about to cover it in chocolate no. custard. Yeah, you are. You are. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> good point. Now, here's the secret. 
custard goes onto the bottom of the pudding. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. You then add the so top. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you add more chocolate. Oh my god. Now you put it right up like that. And you leave that now for 10 minutes. At the 10 minute point, you push it down because it'll soak it up. Ah. If you don't, it's dry and horrible. And then you refill it and it'll soak up probably a third again. Really? If you don't do that, you end up with the, the, the dry sponge. You don't want that. I'm worried it's not going to be sweet enough. Ah. But now you mention it, Mr. Schofield. Oh, what should we put in? Into the oven. <laughs> okay, like marmalade, what I, bacon. What I, <laughs> what I do is I use a tray, and then I add just enough boiling water, half up the tin. This is a really good point. What does that do? That just regulates the cooking, so it becomes an even cook. So, so the, the chocolate slides off the top of it, yeah, does it? Yeah, let's see. That's because I'm. See, look at that. I need to soak that again. You see? All right. All right. Okay, in that goes. Like that one there. Boiling water. Lid on in the oven. How long? 35 to 40 minutes. Take it out when it's three quarters cooked and it ends up like this. You're going to add. Is here. That is so naughty. Now, you, as you can see, it's just slightly undercooked. See that? Now, before you, before you finish that. And what got, are you about to do? I'm going to put a little bit of custard powder, uh, sorry, a bit of cocoa, cocoa powder, powder, ice and sugar on there as well. And I do have down here a little ball of ice oh, cream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, you're not. That goes on top as well. OK, now, and if you really want to push the whole hog out, I've got a little... Oh, bit, I, what, what are you doing? Just, now, 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 you try that. You try that. So it's, it's, it's not... Oh my God, cooking. this has got to be a now, major treat, hasn't look, it? It's, it's, the custard's just setting. Ooh. It's not it's too sweet. And if you don't nice. double soak it... Oh, man. Philip. You need to not be so polite. Get in there. But it should be soft. The custard should be just set, not too sweet. It's very nice. It's, yeah, it's very really nice. nice. I know you're now, a non-believer, Phil. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. What do you think? It's gorgeous. It's not, a, it's not like bread and butter pudding. No. It's not like that. No. It's but got a different flavour.